everybody, welcome back to my anime right channel, Giz Anime. Today we're going to be watching Demon Slayer, Season 2, Episode 3. Last episode we left off with learning about Tengen's wives and him dressing up the guys as girls to infiltrate the entertainment district to try to find out what's happened to his wives, who have originally gone under the same process. He had them go in here to find out about... A demon he thinks is running things here. And now he's having the boys go in to find out what's happened to the girls. And it seems a little um, comical in a way. But they're dressed up more or less like geishas. So, yeah. Not sure how that's really working too well. Um, but okay. So, at the end of the episode, we see that Inosuke is about to run into the one of the three wives who looks like she's being interrogated either by the main demon or one of the main demon's subordinates. So, he's either going to have to fight to get her out of there or something else is going to end up happening before we get that far. Um, the other two, Tanjiro and Zanetsu, um, they're doing really their own things. Not too much really else to go off of. So, let's jump into this episode, see if our boy Inosuke is able to free this lady or not, and I'll see you there. Alright everybody, here we go. See if Inosuke is able to save Makio. Okay, not a big fan of the whole black and white thing though. Okay, is that Makio there? Alright, if she knows she's a demon, why would she just walk in there nonchalantly like that? Are you stupid? Address her like that, why not tell Tengen? Uh... Is she sucking them through the mirror? Okay, that guy looks really creepy. Go figure. I should expect nothing less from anybody that goes to the entertainment district, though, right? Okay, I don't think that was her, because this is her, isn't it? So the previous girl we saw was somebody else that just caught on. Okay, now here's an OSK. Is he going to go up there and find out what's going on, or is he going to get stopped before? No, <laughs> I lost sight of who I was. Yeah, the owner of this house looked like she was definitely murdered. Duh. So, definitely something sus going on here. <laughs> Zanetsu hears a girl crying. Are they both gonna go there? Is Zanetsu hearing her cry? Huh, <laughs> pushing himself to act like he does. This is definitely weird. Oh. Now, is this possibly a different demon? No. And Nosuke is definitely on the move. Oh, yeah. It can't go outside, so it has to stay in the house, right? How do those girls not hear that? Is he going to end up punching this guy in the face? Wow. That guy's nose looked bad enough. This gets smashed up by an Osuke. No, <laughs> he is definitely not happy. Okay. Well, he's definitely not the same person. You don't say! Surprise, motherfucker! I'm glad he at least realizes that it's a demon. I find his dual personality really interesting. Like the first time I saw it in season one, I was like, what in the world? Did she break something and was afraid of what would happen to her because she broke something? Now 
No, is this Netsu's personality gonna come out because she's hurting her? Yes! Yep. There we go. That's the Sinetsu we all love. Basically, the, the simp lord that would die for any woman, but... Professionals have standards. And then we have Tanjiro living his best life as a woman. She's gonna run out of errands to give him. <laughs> this is too much. You're too perfect. Smash out the house in dude's face. In those case, probably like, I'm done with this charade. <laughs> I've got to find this demon. I said the go over, bitch. You heard me. You can do more than that. She knock him out? Two days before. I guess the girls are starting to disappear at an alarming rate, so this woman has to step in and tell her to stand down for now. No, not exactly. Who is she isn't the question. What is she is the question. Well, this woman brought a knife. She was ready. Is this why she died? Yeah. Definitely why she died. The upper six. So she's pretty strong. I just wanted to do a little announcement that I am going to be doing a figure giveaway at 500 subscribers for a Super Masters Diorama 2 Trunks and Vegeta figure. It's over 9,000! you enjoy it. Um, as a show of appreciation for the support that everybody's been giving me, all the comments everybody's been leaving, all the love from the anime community that I've been shown, I'm hoping... To continue with what I'm doing and just to get better as I go to make the experience more enjoyable for everybody so that I can earn that sub from you and like I said at 500 subscribers I will be doing a giveaway for this figure it is unopened as you can see so if you want to win that then subscribe and just make sure that you're over 18 years of age and you live within the US because I don't know if I could afford the shipping outside. Like I said though, with that said, I, I appreciate all the support I've been given. Thank you very much. And I will see you all next time. Ah, Michael Jackson's here. The one person she's probably more afraid of than anyone. Always a hierarchy. There's always a bigger fish. But look at how the mood shifted. She was, she went from being a badass threatening to being the one cowering. Docky. She's killed seven of them? Get the fuck out of here. Okay, if she knocks Zenetsu out, he might wake up in his, you know, altered state. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay, we can't kill her this early. That's uh, that, that's not what's in the script. I guess an obvious given because then season over, right? Okay, I wonder what the front is for her, though, because I don't feel like she should even need to put up a front. Just keep the people flowing, and that's all that really matters, right? She's definitely going to keep an eye out on him. Okay, so he went on the defense when he blocked out. Did, did she... Did he kind of block her punch when she hit him? 
Is that what she's getting at? Or now he's on the defensive, even though he's knocked out, she can sense that he's even more dangerous now. Tundra, we're gonna smell moves on. Okay, so he's just now waking up out of that stupor. These three girls remind me of the girls that are uh, with the main Hashira. Um, they're like master. I had a dream that I became a man. One of the three girls that he was uh, Tengen was originally going to bring. One of the three girls. I forget their names. <laughs> Any man would rescue a damsel in distress, but you're not supposed to be a guy. <laughs> not that I'm a man. I'm pretty sure they know he's a guy. I mean, when did they have had to change his dress or clothing? Now all he has to do is report to like Tengen and let him know where she is and who she is. Uh. All right, everybody, and that is episode three of season two's Demon Slayer. And things didn't really go kind of how I went. I kind of thought Inosuke was going to run into Daki, who is the upper six demon that Muzan meets. And tells that she's going to grow even stronger. So she might even go up in rank at some point. But we'll have to see how that goes. But Inosuke senses her. And even tries to confront her by running through the house that she's running through as well. And he spots her and goes to strike at the spot she was. Not sure how that would have turned out if he hit her. You know, if he would have been able to fight her one-on-one -on -one, and maybe even like the others would have caught on to what was going on or even to get get her out in the open because it was daytime and get some sunlight on her and then that would have been all she wrote. But he ends up punching that one guy in the face who I kind of wanted to see afterwards, you know, lying on a bed or something or walking away with his face all scrunched up. That would have been pretty hilarious because I feel like and Nosuke broke everything because the wall behind him where Nosuke struck, they show that later, and that wall is demolished. So I feel like the guy's face has been really messed up, if he's even alive. So that happens. She gets away, and we find out that she runs into Zenetsu later. Zenetsu is trying to figure out what's going on with this little girl who's crying and we find out that she did something to upset Doki and Doki goes to punish her and Zenetsu's uh, chivalrous side steps up and grabs Doki by the arm and tries to stop her from further harming this little girl and then Doki basically just backhands him into the wall and since he's not in his altered state, he doesn't, like, dodge it or anything, gets hit by it. But he's still pretty much unfazed by her strike. Which is weird, because she says that he didn't take very much damage. You know, that the what happened to him was minor, but he still got knocked out, which is okay. Kind of weird, unless that was just, like, his personality just so scared that he, you know, just fainted. But we also get... A brief showing about what happened with Doki and the Madame of the house. That the Madame figured out what was going on and confronted Doki about it. And instead of trying to find some way to confront her out in the open, which would have been smarter, she just basically tries, says, you know what? Uh, I know what you're doing. Stop it. You're a monster. And Doki's like, you know what? This was really dumb of you to do. Most people that know about something like this or figure something like this is possible, keep it to themselves. Because if you think I'm some kind of monster and confront me by yourself. Okay? So, yeah. 
Then we have like a brief comical part with Tanjiro where he's just like overworking himself to the max and the madame of his house is like so frustrated with him because he's just too good, you know? So, and then at the very end of the episode, after the credits, we get a brief moment with Zenetsu waking up and the three girls that he helped out are kind of watching over him and they leave the room and you see the clothing that Daki is able to control fall down around Zenetsu. So, and then the screen goes blank. So, she's obviously going to try to capture him or kill him. Uh, she might even catch him and he might get away. We'll have to see when next episode comes, how all that plays out. But with that said, let me know what you all thought of this episode. And if you enjoyed my reaction, I would really appreciate it if you all would hit that sub button. And I will see you next time. Da 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 da